Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in my last video we went ahead and gave a 6,000 mile update on the lithium iron phosphate battery um, and I hinted in that video that I was in the process of purchasing my first brand new car. This is obviously not that brand new car. This is my wife's uh, 2010 Toyota Prius that currently now has that lithium iron phosphate battery. Um, however, um, I want to go over the vehicle I picked why I picked it and why I bought a vehicle in such, well, to put it lightly, such gr such a great time to buy a vehicle right now with prices surging everywhere. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So after copious amounts of research and a painful decision to get rid of my red Prius, uh, which was a 2010, we went ahead and purchased a 2022 Tesla Model 3, which is my first electric vehicle. And I want to get into why we chose this car, our thought process behind switching vehicles in such a volatile market, and why we decided to pull the trigger now versus earlier or later, um, as well as just get a little bit acquainted uh, to the new ride. So let's go ahead and jump in. So after five years and probably $10,000 of gas savings alone in my 2010 Prius, um, it was time to let that car go and upgrade to a new car. And I'll express probably some of my main reasons for doing so, uh, but the main one's probably obvious, and that is that the used car market really is in absolutely insane right now. Um, my 2010 Prius, when I sold it, was actually worth more money than it was back in 2017 when I initially bought it, and that was with close to 80,000 more miles uh, than what I originally bought it for. So... That, coupled with my car also turning 12 years old in 2022, the car was getting older. It still was reliable. It had around 103,000 miles, so it certainly had lots of life left. Um, but it was approaching that uh, kind of large cliff in terms of depreciation. At least that's what my I was interpreting would probably occur. Um, it was probably peaked in terms of value. It was a good opportunity to go ahead and get rid of that car um, and jump into a brand new car. It, the math just would never... Uh, it would never be a better time, I think, to buy a brand new car, assuming you can get a hold of one, um, because the, you can get rid of your existing car for a price that, and quite honestly, it might not be worth uh, even in a year or two, depending on, obviously, a bunch of factors and supply chains being corrected. Um, however, this was not even my first choice. Uh, my first choice for car was a RAV4 Prime, um, which I did extensive research into, and quite honestly, it is an awesome car. On paper, this car will allow you to get 40 miles of electric only at 94 MPGE. Then after you run out of electric range, you can still get 38 miles per gallon in hybrid mode. And it's a classic Toyota hybrid, meaning ridiculous reliability. And because you have that electric battery, chances are you're going to get extreme life out of the engine. Um, so I was anticipating this to be my next car. However... I went to not one, not two, but three different dealers in the Kansas City area. All three told me that they only deliver or are shipped two of these cars a year. So then I asked, well, can I be put on the list? Well, there were tens, if not 20 uh, people at each of these dealers who put their names in. And putting your name into the list meant a $1,000 deposit. So it was pretty clear that that was not going to be an option no matter how much I wanted one. I could have looked on the third-party market to try and buy a used one. However, there was a tax credit with this car. So even though MSRP for the uh, premium model with leather um, uh, would have been 50, almost 51, um, it still would have been $7,500 cheaper than that price. Obviously, this is old news because Toyota has since obviously met their quota for the $7,500 tax credit, or is at least very close to, or this quarter, uh, Q3 2022. Um, but nonetheless, this was my first choice. Um, then the next choice was the Tesla Model 3. And the reason this was my second choice is because this was a car I liked. Um, really just liked the minimalistic interior, uh, liked the idea of going electric. So I have a time of use plan with my energy provider here in Kansas City, which means my a nightly electric costs are around four cents a kilowatt hour in summer, which is is extremely cheap uh, compared to other areas of the country where even time of use rates are at like nine, 10, 12 cents a kilowatt hour. So pretty cheap electric rates uh, kind of pushed me to this decision. Um, I'll get into cost analysis in a future video. I really just wanted to 
do a reveal of the car. Also, uh, make sure that people know that my 2010 Prius over there, my uh, previous wife's car, uh, has the lithium iron phosphate pack in it. We will continue to do videos on that car, plenty more uh, on that one. Uh, this will be another car we can do some videos on, but I want to make sure my content is unique. Uh, YouTube is really flooded with videos on the Model 3, and quite honestly, there's not a lot of substance to them. I want to dig into the data um, a little bit more and do so in a unique way. So if you have any ideas, go ahead and put them in the comments. If you have any questions, put those there as well. I'll make sure to review and, and put them in here. But just a quick reveal of the car. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.